we are giving away a free Steam key to the story-based adventure game The Silent Age. In this addictive game, you assume the role of a regular, unsuspecting janitor who sees himself confronted with the daunting task to save all of mankind. Simply answer the question at the beginning of every video to be entered for the giveaway running until July 31st. You can enter as many times as you want by answering every new question in order to increase your chances. Let's get it. The question for this episode is gonna be Misha or Hoffer? I think y'all, I think everyone can answer that question. Uh, reminder, first correct answer gets two entries for the uh, giveaway, and every other correct answer after that gets one. So, uh, better be fast. I think a lot of people know what, what and, the answer to that is. And I was about to say, better be correct. Yeah, better be correct. Like, if, if you're not correct, like, get out of here. Like, you're no longer allowed to, to watch our videos. And just, the answer is never Maxine. Just kidding. Just kidding. Never Maxine. Uh, that, that could have been a, a question at some point as well. But uh, we are playing. Well, it still can be. Yeah. Mm. It's true. We are playing Quest Warrior, which I recently crafted, and we have two of the most important cards already. The Lich King is one of them. I was about to say, I would keep Warpath. No. Typically, well, quests we always keep and always play on one, basically. And after, yeah, of course. After that, what we want is Stonehill or Tar Creeper. Are really good. Phantom Lich is also pretty good, but we, we typically want to play that on either six or nine. Yeah. Golden Brawl, by the way, I'm a rich kid. I pulled that one time. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm sitting there with yeah, a single with, brawl. With one brawl. Like, even, not even the Golden Brawl, just a regular brawl. Yeah. That's so weak. It's crazy, man. Golden Brawl is fantastic. Huh. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. So, what is he playing? Uh, this deck loses to cube, it beats control, and it beats zoo. We are uh, calling you the Stonehill, I assume? Probably. Yeah. Now with the shield block on hand, even more so. Five drop is optimal. Yeah, I, I do also like the hatchling in this yeah. deck in general, which you don't run. Oh, it's it's. I mean, it's slower than the apple bomb. Yeah, but it does also give you a second taunt, potentially later on. Yeah. Like, of course, it depends on your draw. Typically, I want to. I want the quest on my turn nine with Phantom Militia, but that doesn't always work. I mean, you could technically uh, get Just your block. your second dire horn. As soon as, like, turn six. Right. And I guess we try... No, why would we say we have a taunt, right? Yeah, just it doesn't matter. Let him do it. Of course, there would be, uh... Stuff. If he's not, he's not gonna waste a, a five spell stone on the stone hill. So, it... If it's control, I'm feeling okay. If it's cube, there's always a danger of being rushed down. Once he notices what we're doing... Which he does, obviously, with the quest. That's, pro that's the only problem of quest, it gives away what you're doing. So, chain gang. Chain gangs. Gang members. How long can this go on? I'm still disappointed they only count as one. Yeah, it's play, not summon. That's a, that's a problem. Yeah, because usually it's summon, right? Yeah. Like the priest This also, this also loses hopelessly to quest priest, even though I, I did beat one yesterday. It like You wouldn't believe the amount of times where against quest priest it comes down to a 50-50 Ragnarok shot. Like, he's at 7 health and there's a minion on the board. Yeah. Like, it, it, in, it's so weird because it takes 30 minutes to there's get to that a point. skull. Yeah. Oh. And I don't have weapon removal tacked in. Because there's not too much stuff. But uh, I Dire horn and trade, dire horn. Right? trade, hit face, mm -hmm. dire horn, and turn. Having a brawl on hand is never the worst thing against something that can produce stuff. And he doesn't oh. even have a demon on hand. That was... Awesome. A really waste of turn. Yeah, but like, unless you yeah, have literally skull, nothing else to play, yes, skull get it out because you can't do lackey on five, so <laughs> right, you can't do lackey on five, <laughs> can't do lackey on five, hey, can't do lackey on six. <laughs> this deck doesn't, does this deck, this deck doesn't run silences, does it? No, <laughs> give me a double phantom militia, <laughs> and like play this one and this one. No, <laughs> that's oh god, that's that's the worst form of autism right there. <laughs> Hit face with everything. Yeah, of course. I don't want to kill the lackey yeah. earlier than need. If we want to, we can get the quest done next turn. With double militia again. Yeah. That seems reasonable. Void person. Like, I don't I don't really want to brawl, brawl this. No. Doesn't seem right. Doesn't feel good. Well, if there's like... Wake up. Yeah, like Umbra cubes and all that coming out, then we might brawl. 
but at the moment it doesn't really look like it. I still can't tell if it, you can still tell if it's control or or um cube and it's cube. Yeah, I was about to say the skull also seems more cube, doesn't it? The skull seems that was a weird defile. Skull Double seems fall, yeah. yeah. Skull seems kind of cube, but it's also possible in control, especially when running dark possession. Uh, execute brawl? I don't think so. Because that takes out everything except for one. Well, he used both. Walker. He used both the, the files, so I think we could we could just finish the quest. Or that, yeah. I mean, once we got the quest finished, just finish the quest with the phantom blush. It doesn't really matter what he has on the yep. board uh, concerning taunts. And his aggro on the board doesn't matter either because we have all the taunts in the world. Yeah, it's always good. Like when you get your opponent to like a low health, uh, keep a brawl because a brawl guarantees a 50-50 shot for winning. Because at, at most one million of his survives. I was about to say, like on average, it would be like a thirty-three percent chance or something. Between about fifty percent dead, one yeah. of his survives was yours, and then yeah, exactly. That would be twenty-five. But my math. But it would be better chance of winning. Yeah. That's why it guarantees a 50-50, at least. Well, unless he has a Void Dude on the board. Yeah. In which case... In that case, you take it out first with your stuff and I'm wrong. Yeah, which is why I suggested... You like, mean you mean a big Void Dude, right? Yeah. Not, not one of the small Void Dudes. Well, those don't really survive rolls yeah. that well. Or more likely, they don't die well in rolls. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't really matter how, how the mini lives, it matters how it dies. Yeah. That's the whole, whole thing about it. But he doesn't. He, he doesn't really have a way to get through this wall anyway. Like he can create a million doom guards right now. Well, we'll take. I hate opponents that take ages to finish their turn. Maybe he's know? a pro. Is not his name, man? <laughs> Sensei Pro. He's a pro. You know. You know. You're facing a pro, man. They take their time. You know how they do. Considering all the options, not making mistakes, getting AFK to make a sandwich, not playing stuff, <laughs> leaving the game and thing. Uh, you can become Ragnaros if you want to. Seems reasonable. Uh, two questions. Do we hero power first? No. I think now we execute... And do we take shit out first? No, I think we execute uh, Doomguard. To make it 50-50 shot? Yeah, we can also execute Voidlord, but I, I think we do that by means later. So now we, now we take the shot, and if Voidlord dies, we take everything out, and... Yes. <laughs> We got one full weapon too. Seems pretty good. Like he needs to start putting stuff on the board just to not die by. Race. He needs to start playing. Yeah, exactly. That's, That's what he needs to do. Gotta go fast. Even the skull doesn't want to doesn't want to put in any work. It's crazy. Dominating Doom Guards is gonna be the title of the video. Probably not. That is also one of those that can be interpreted two ways because. It's unclear know. if you are dominating the Doomguards or if yeah, the Doom Guards are, dominating, are dominating. dominating. Dominating the Doom Guards. We got time for another game, I think. Yeah. By <laughs> the way, I've just built this deck. Like, look at the number of wins I got a warrior, like eleven or something. And we're I'm I'm already gutsy enough to play it on a ladder. So that's gotta tell you something. Golden Rogue, weird username, League of Explorers card back. Alright. What does that tell us about his life? Ooh, hey, there's a Tower Creeper. Yep, Tower uh, Creeper's good. Unsure. <laughs> uh, Kingsbane is a bad matchup for oh. us. Odd Rogue is, I think, better. It's the Odd we, Temple we, Rogue, yeah, yeah. But we really need to be careful to not get rushed down. If he gets too much stuff on and we can't brawl... I've always thought this deck was kind of weird. The uh, Odd Rogue. It's pretty good. Yeah, I've seen it be good. It's really good. Interestingly enough, uh, by the way, it's one of my better matchups with the uh, Test Rogue. Really? Yeah. Right. As a matter of fact, Rogue is, I think, the best matchup uh, class-wise. For Test Rogue? For my, for my personal statistic okay. for Test Rogue, yes. It's like... <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> it seems like the worst matchup, yeah. right? The Pickpocket Rogue is like tier... F it's, like, it's like tier 4. And it really matches up well against other Rogues for some yeah. reason. As a thug. Oh, God. A thug. We should probably Creeper him by Tar. And the creeper, he was creeping. Mm -hmm. And the souls there were crying. Like next turn, Changing, that that all that can help us keep stuff off basically off our neck, but yeah. Can he take it out somehow? Yes, with a deck hand. Yeah, deck hands. He would have been able to do with with the so thug as well. Thug is go yeah, but thug is supposed to go face, right? 
Yeah, but I mean, it would have still survived either way. I mean, mm. gangs. That's the thing. Uh, this deck can lock the board down relatively well, usually, yeah. so. And if we can't lock the board down, we'll have all kinds of armor. I feel like it's also one of the strengths of this deck. Dying isn't really as big of a concern, oftentimes. With the, because of all the taunts in there, right? Yeah, the taunts and all the armor as well. So, I, it might be time for Blood Razor. And then hit the, uh, hit the thug. Hit the thug. Yes. Because we're one minute short of being able to do it with yeah. Warpaths. Warpath would have been next turn. Yeah, or Shield Blood Flurry would have also yeah. been next turn. Maybe it is That is turn. the turn. Yeah. Ah, yikes. It's Warpath. Don't do it. Nope, it doesn't. Let's think. Wait. I mean, yeah, you got it. Kind of got it. Could have hit uh, SI7 and put down the Stone Hill just to stall out for a turn, but I think this would be better. Yeah, also then... Stone Hill into Hopefully Tom. We can also play next turn, lock down the board a little bit, but it, we need to watch our health now. Interestingly enough, despite being a warrior with a lot of taunts, we need to watch our health. Edwin. So, yeah, go Stonehill. Hope for Hopefully, a good 4 drop or no, something. No, two, 2 drop would be better. There's a the corner is really good. Oh yeah, play it, hit Blood Razor, execute the Edwin. Perfect. Oh, that's why I wanted the 2 drop, yeah. yeah. for that. That was, like, that was the best guard we could have gotten off of that thing. Yeah, because the negative battle cry literally didn't matter. That was great. Lich can come it down. He might be done. I feel a lot better about this now. Yeah, that was a that was a shifting turn. That was great. Especially because uh, he doesn't really have a lot to turn the match around. I think could have also hit one of the elementals with um with the blood razor instead of face, but all right. True. So now it's Lich King. Yes, it is it's the king. Of liches. Of liches, all of them. Anti-magic shell no, isn't okay. bad. Uh, Army of the Dead is uh, surprisingly powerful in this deck. Yeah, but it also doesn't help with the quest. It's true. Double wild spine is not nice. So just, hey, there's Phantom Militia. I think we just Warpath first to clear everything off. Like, qu like quadruple war Warpath? Yep. Yeah. I mean, Phantom Militia... Corn Sentry, uh... Nah, Militia's no, Militia still gonna, uh, gonna lock down next turn. So, there we go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Man, Warriors, man. I like yeah, this deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, this is <laughs> yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's a good deck, man. Our opponent Ooh, predicted boy. it. We played a pro and that guy, and we destroyed him. So. Well, I think that guy was more likely making a sandwich than yeah. being a pro, but... Well, yeah, <laughs> but damn, like this, we didn't hear how to become, we didn't have to become rich. It's kind of, it's kind of like the walk, you know. People be conceived <laughs> before it even happens because they're afraid of the walk. And this, except that this time, they're afraid this of you can't run without the quest because right. then they'll right. know you don't have the quest. Yeah. But they're afraid of. At one time, I accidentally mulliganed the quest. And I played it on like turn four. Oh. And I already had one Tark Reaper down, and they still, and I still won it. So <laughs> um, that was yesterday, by the way, because I corrected the deck two days ago. Yeah. Point recording. Anyway. Uh, this time they were afraid of all the Reggie. That's how it works. We're gonna do this again. This is kind of fun. It's kind of yes. good. It's kind of good. So, uh, leave a like on the video, subscribe to not miss any more stuff. Remember to answer the question, and, uh, you probably already did it by now, because if you didn't, you might be too late. But you can still get an entry by answering it correctly, if someone did it before you. So, uh, yeah, do all that stuff, and show some love. We're gonna see you in the next video, JJ. That's it? That's it.